In this video, I want to show you guys how to make artistically blurry photos. You know, it's funny. So I'm sitting here and I'm like rubbing on photos with sandpaper as a joke. Um, but I'm kind of thinking, hey, <laughs> like maybe that might actually be a cool idea and, and render some really cool effects. I don't know. Maybe something to try later, right? Uh, but this video is actually about making artistically blurry photos. But it's, it's not by manipulating anything or, or uh, you know, scratching things or, or whatever, um, which could be cool. But no, this is basically just uh, talking about a lens which is the lens baby. So I've had this lens for, I think about like five or six years, and I've kept it. It's just, you know, this is something that didn't make the cell rack. It's not on eBay uh, because it's loads of fun. You know, I keep coming back to it. There are a couple different models of these. They each have different effects, but my favorite by far, um, and the one that I'll be talking about in this video is the Sweet 35. Now, the, the Sweet 35 is a uh, 35 millimeter full frame that allows you to kind of focus a uh, particular spot in your frame and blur out everything else. So what I mean is you'll have like a center spot that'll kind of be in focus and then everything else will blur out. And you can actually change the, uh, change the position of that, that focus anywhere in your frame. So to describe this, this out of focus area, it's not like a, a creamy bokeh, you know, like a, a depth of field like you kind of expect. It's more like a warping or like a dragging. Um, I think of it as, I guess, kind of like a time warp almost. I'm from the future. It seems to pull like away from the center spot. And one of my favorite traits about this lens is if I'm shooting at night, especially with lights in the scene, any kind of you know lights or, or lighting, um, it, it renders lights kind of like a, uh, I don't know, like an oval, like a stretched orb almost. It's, it's really cool. Using the lens is pretty straightforward. You just swivel the front part of the lens around uh, using this. It has like a ball and socket system. But there is like a locking ring that you can, you know, loosen or tighten to kind of get a, a more or less dampen or hold it in place. It is a manual focus only lens um, and the aperture is changed by rotating the front end of the lens there. One thing that I found though is if you swivel this kind of up into the corners, if you're using, you know, shooting on a full frame, you can get some, some blackness in the corners like they'll, it'll drag the corner into your frame. So controlling the, the effect is basically done through aperture. So the aperture is going to go from 2.5 to 22. And at 2.5, you're going to have the most blur or the, the smallest area of focus. And then as you stop down your lens to f22, you're going to have little to no blur. And then, you know, most of everything's going to be in focus. All right. The image quality that comes out of this lens is it's fine. I mean, it's, you know, it, it's nothing particularly sharp. Well, it's, it's not as dull as like a Holga, okay? We'll just put that out there. It's not gonna be Holga, okay? It's not lo-fi, but it's definitely not super sharp. But I don't know about you, I'm not grabbing this lens for tack sharp pictures. You know, I'm, I'm grabbing it because I wanna go out and get some creative, you know, fun things. As far as like the, the versatility of this lens, it could do portraits, it could do landscapes, uh, still life. I mean, really, it could shoot anything. It, it's gonna have its creative twist to it. And, and by creative twist, um, I'm gonna use the air quotes on creative twist because it can get kind of gimmicky. You know, it, it does what it does well, but that's all it does, okay? Um, so while it's really fun to use and it kind of excels creating a certain effect. Um, it's, it could be easy to like overuse that effect. So, um, you know, I, I have to sometimes reel myself in because it can make almost anything look cool, really. The system is made up of a lens housing and interchangeable optics, which is a, a housing, uh, which they call the Composer Pro, the, the swivel part. And then these lenses, you can actually, or the optics rather, you can push them in, turn them and remove them and replace them with different focal lengths. Now, I know this lens isn't like cutting edge or anything. Um, it, you know, it, it's been out for quite a while, uh, but I, I keep coming back to it. And it's something that every now and then 
I like to shoot. I enjoy it. Um, and it's just, it, it's a fun thing to use. So I definitely thought it was worth a video. And, uh, you know, if you haven't checked it out, you know, they're, you can get them on eBay for a couple hundred bucks, maybe 150 bucks. I mean, they're not super expensive uh, and they are available in most mounts. Um, I have the Nikon version, but, you know, they have Canon, Sony, you know, pretty much any major brand. Um, so it's definitely worth checking out. But if you guys could smash that like button, that'd be cool too. I hope everybody's well and uh, we'll see you soon.